Hi, I'm going to show you how to compare strengths of oxidizing agents and reducing agents. There are really only two things that you need to know. First, the more positive the E value on a standard reduction potential table, and the keyword there is reduction, okay? Uh, the table is always written as the half reaction gaining electrons. So the more positive the E value on a standard reduction potential table, the more easily it's reduced, which means it is a stronger oxidizing agent. First thing you have to know. Second thing that you have to know, the more negative the E value, that means that it is going to be more easily oxidized, um, the stronger the reducing agent. So if that is new to you, if it's the first time you've heard this, I'm going to refer you to my uh, video under the Redox Electrochemistry playlist, and it's entitled Standard Reduction Potential Table. Um, it gives a really good overview of how to interpret the table. I'm going to give you like just the brief, hey, this is when everything's said and done, how we label it. So if you don't understand it, watch that video. If you do, great. I'm just going to remind you that the more positive that E value on a standard reduction potential table, this is going to be the greater the, I'm going to do uh, reducing, oh, excuse me, oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent. And let me say why one more time because this is a positive value, it shows us that this is spontaneous, that voltage um, is positive, it will naturally push electrons, okay? You don't have to put energy into it. It will, the potential difference pushes those electrons. Um, this is more easily reduced because it's positive, um, and the greater that number, the more easily it gains those electrons, which means it's a greater oxidizing agent. Now, just opposite. I'm going to draw this over here. As you go down, the more negative the E value on a standard reduction potential table, the more easily it is oxidized. Okay, more easily it's oxidized, which means this is going to be a greater reducing agent. Okay, greater reducing agent. So with those two pieces of information, let's compare a couple of these. Um, let's say that I want to know greatest oxidizing agent, okay? So greatest oxidizing agent. Okay, so greatest oxidizing agent, I'm thinking, okay, oxidizing agent is what's reduced. So whatever is what's reduced is going to be the largest E value because these are all written as reduction, largest E value. So here's how I would put this in a list. Um, the greatest oxidizing agent is the one with the biggest E value, biggest positive E value. Um, so here would be my list. Um, the fluorine would be greater than the silver because two is bigger than 0.79. And that's bigger than uh, zero, which would be greater than the hydrogen ion, which is going to be greater. Oh, now I'm in negative numbers. Um, but this negative number, notice, is um, going to be less negative than this number. Um, so this would be greater than iron, 2 plus, which is greater than the aluminum, 3 plus. Uh, so it's simply by saying the most positive number trumps. It's going to be the strongest oxidizing agent. Now, if I wanted to do the greatest reducing agent, I'd say, okay, reducing agent. That comes from what's oxidized. So the, val the half reactions that are most easily oxidized are the most negative. So you already know what this answer is. It's just opposite, just opposite. So if I were to do the greatest reducing agent, and again, this is how the steps I walk in my brain, I say, okay, reducing agent is what's oxidized. When I look at a standard reduction potential table, the items that are more easily oxidized are the most negative values because I only have to flip that so it loses electrons, right? So it's oxidized and that becomes positive. That's how I make this make sense in my head. Um, so the greatest reducing agent is just the most negative to the least negative. So I would just change my inequalities here like this. Fluorine is less than silver, which is less than hydrogen, less than iron, less than aluminum. So your aluminum right there, that is going to be the greatest reducing agent because it's the most negative. So pretty easy. Once you wrap your brain around these two facts, most positive, strongest oxidizing agent, most negative, 
strongest reducing agent, it's really easy to compare these. Okay, good work. If you have other questions, um, especially on um, understanding the reduction table or even labeling, if you're not really comfortable on, when do I use the word reducing agent, oxidizing agent, please look at my um, Redox Electrochemistry playlist. Um, and there's an overview um, that will talk to you about the terms as well. Okay, have a good day. So proud of you, good work. Thanks.